Another crime captured on surveillance video, but this time it doesn't appear random. Meg Ferris joins us from St. Rock where the shooting happened, but Meg, I guess this time fortunately no one died either. That's correct. As far as we know at this time, Karen and Sharice. Now, NOPD released the surveillance video to us this morning of a crime that happened yesterday. And I do want to give a viewer warning. There is very graphic violence on this video. The NOPD is asking for your help in solving this violence caught on a surveillance camera. Thursday morning at 523, a car drives on the opposite side of the neutral ground in the 2900 block of St. Anthony. One minute later, 524, it pulls up to the Volunteers of America Residential Reentry Center at 2929 St. Anthony. Then at 6 a.m., you can see in the upper right corner a man walks out of the VOA facility. Ten seconds later, three gunmen rush out of the car and fire multiple shots. The victim was leaving the facility for work and was driven in a private car to University Medical Center. We are not being told his condition. NOPD is not releasing any more official information, but is asking for your help to identify the car and the gunman. A police source who's seen the video tells Eyewitness News this appears to be a planned ambush of an intended target. The lying in wait for 36 minutes, the massive display of firepower with multiple armed men at a set time and location have the earmarks of a possible retaliation or hired hit. The victim was in the residential reentry center for federal inmates who were at the end of serving their sentences and learning to transition back into society. The VOA is not allowed to discuss the case in any way. It has a contract with the Federal Bureau of Prisons it helps these men and women with financial and health benefits, mental health and anger management, housing and jobs, social services, and family reunification. The goal is, is for them to retain employment so they can start utilizing some of their skill sets in order to save dollars, in order for them to have our permanent housing, as well as to support their family. Because the idea is family reunification for those individuals who are transitioning back home. There are about 100 residents at this facility, the VOA has been providing this service since 1973. The goal is, is for these individuals to get the treatment and services that they have uh, to ensure a successful transitioning. Our recidivism rate is below 6%. 6%. And so that means that what the staff are doing there, it's working. And as always, if you have any information, no matter how small it seems to you, call Crime Stoppers at numbers 504-822-1111. Reporting live from the St. Rock area, Meg Farris, Eyewitness News, back to you. Meg, thank you.